Virgo, welcome to your full moon energy read. What's up? What's going on? The next full moon will be under the sign of Capricorn and available to us the 21st of July or thereabouts, depending on where you are in the world, yeah? What's going on, please? Show me Virgo under the full moon. Show me Virgo. Show me Virgo, please, under the full moon. Like always, take it resonates, leave it does not. Do keep in mind these are general collective readings, not one-to-one -one private, which is to say they may not resonate at all. Frustrating, but normal. Check out the placements, you will find yourself in there somewhere. Show me. Virgo. Strength. Page of Swords. Justice. Three of Swords. Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, I see you working through something. It could just be in the general sense that you are busy right now. Okay, we'll see. Uh, Eight of Pentacles, just hardworking or putting in your best effort into something that you are well-versed or practiced in. Cool. Strength is crowning you. Uh, needing strength at this time. We'll see why. Page of Swords. Very small insight. Lack of information. Lack of news. Not knowing what to do. Justice. A sense of balance spiritually and then possibly technically in the real world as well. Uh, but the idea is we want to get in a more balanced state because we seem to have pain here in our heart, three of sorts. Okay. So it's kind of like a very elaborate way of saying I'm trying to work through something and it's not the easiest of things. I don't always have insight on the subject. I just know that I want to achieve more balance than what I currently have. All right, let's take a look at that Eight of Pentacles, please. Show me the Eight of Pentacles, please, for Virgo. Show me the Eight of Pentacles. Show me the Eight of Pentacles. The Queen of Wands, Queen of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups. Man, that's beautiful. That is beautiful. I don't know when this happens. Hopefully it's happening now. It could be soon. I do see Leo season crowning you. Okay, so perhaps this is preemptive, early, possibly predictive. But this is absolutely beautiful. Uh, the Queen of Wands, Queen of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups. I have two energies that have more or less agreed to soften towards each other and kind of give the best effort towards the Ace of Cups here. So this is beautiful. Um, I got you alongside working with somebody through the heart space. Okay. I don't know if it's in love. I don't know if it's some kind of love. I just know that it's beautiful and it's sincerely meant and felt. And our best energy and effort is going towards this Eight of Pentacles. What we have to offer, we're throwing it down, right? And it's like saying, I'm showing up, you're showing up, we're both doing our best to work through it. And it could be at work, okay? The both of you are putting your whole heart into this. So it could be a work construct. I can't rule that out, particularly with earth signs. I never really know when I look at that coin. Sometimes you will show me an emotional component or, you know, this is just what I do kind of thing, you know? Um, but it, it does feel very touching and very personal, okay? Um, and it's lovely. Two people here really are giving their all towards this Ace of Cups to work it out, to make it better, to make it stronger. I don't know, but it's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, I'm not sure what the goal is here. Let's see how you're using strength. Well, the goal is to put the best of each in there. So here we have somebody, Queen of Pentacles, I'm assuming this is you, that earth energy, that sense to nurture, love, care, support. And then we have the Queen of Wands. Someone's a little bit more uh, fiery, temperamental, inspirational, um, kind of has that go-getter energy, right? Okay, let's see strength, please. Let's see strength. It's crowning you. Let's see strength. Show me strength. Show me strength, please. Show me strength, please. Page of Wands. The Two of Wands. King of Wands. Oh, it is a little early, isn't it? No. Yeah. Oh, we've made a decision here. So this, so I'm seeing the goal then. Oh, that's the goal. Well, that's beautiful. Well, that's lovely then. 
Okay, page of wands, two of wands, the king of wands. Man, you're making a decision soon. It's crowning you. At the heart of your particular issue or matter or what's important to you, you're showing me what you really want to do with someone else. You very much want to work through it beautifully, too. Um, I have two people of comparable interest or level of maturity or that sense of um, we're both mutually invested in this in some way. Uh, really working on that cup beautifully, too. And it's it's lovely. Um but it, I think this is a little predictive, guys. Yeah, straight out the gate. Nice. That doesn't always happen. Uh, but this is lovely. It's crowning. Uh, we have yet to make the decision, but we're almost there. <laughs> we're almost there uh, to show strength in this particular decision to open up towards it. That's a blast of fresh energy and positivity and optimism. It's beautiful. It's taking some of the strength of will to do this, but they want to do it. Uh, they're opening up towards this. Somebody's laying it out. Um... Who's introducing or reintroducing? I have not a clue, but they're showing me they need fortitude for this. Uh, just strengthening sense of self and resolve. Um, it's beautiful. It's very simple. And someone's saying it's taking nerve, but I'm doing it. <laughs> I love that. That's great. That's wonderful. Oh, that's so nice to see people use strength appropriately. You'd be surprised how much the reverse is true, because you have to remember strength works both ways. It takes the equal amount of strength to do this as it does this. So, like all cards in tarot, like all energies in tarot, all signs, pros and cons, you know? Let's see that page of swords, little guy. And that's not an insult, it's just somebody has to represent in tarot that sense of helplessness. There's nothing I can do, all I can do is look and perceive on. And But um, the most helpless of all the pages and court cards, you know? That's why he's associated or she's associated with uh, spying. It's just really observation because I don't know what else to do, right? Just look on. Maybe I'll learn something. Let's see that page of swords. Let's see that page of swords. Let's see that page of swords. So hopefully surrounding the page of swords, we see something what we call amplified knowledge. In other words, we've learned a couple things. And feeling a little bit more prepared, a little bit more capable. So this could either be you or the person connecting to Ace of Wands, the Hierophant, the Knight of Cups. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, stop it. I can't even with that. That's, ooh, look at that wash of energy. It's beautiful. Oh, oh, I don't know. If somebody was sitting in that kind of helpless position. Again, I'm not discouraging or trying to be, it's, it's a sense of helplessness with the Page of Swords. I don't know enough, so I can't do anything. All I could do is watch. So somebody was sitting in that for a hot minute, um, a while. There's nothing I can do. And yet what they felt was everything. Ace of Wands. Oh, the hair fun. Oh, the Knights of Cups. Oh, uh, feeling helpless with that passion, feeling helpless with that love and the romantic energy and the vulnerability specifically with the Knights of Cups. And then you stamp it with the hair fun. It's all legit. Those are legit feelings and they're strong as heck. They sear. They sear across the eyes. They sear across the heart. They sear across the spirit. Now, this person is a seared piece of steak, but it's like they don't know it. Mm. Mm. Because you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't replicate, you can't fake it. You either feel these things naturally, strongly, beautifully, or you don't. And that's the difference between legit and a uh, waste of time. So the, whoever here is associated with that sense, there's nothing I can do except look. No, they have so much more in them, and it's beautiful. It's beautiful. So whoever is feeling that nerve to make that decision to step forward with strength, to work this thing out, bravo. It was either you or them. I don't know. It was beautiful. And it seems to be unfolding soon. Oh, that is so beautiful. Can you see that? Can you see that? Look at this. Look at that. Oh, that's real feeling. That's real passion. That's real vulnerability. And the stamp with the hair front, it's legit, legit, legit. You know, there's a beauty in that. So, yes. Somebody was in that hang-by mode for, well, observation mode, I should say, for some time. Excuse me. For those of you who hate the sound of sipping, I'm about to take a sip. Okay, so this is your moment to turn it down. All right. Oh, that's better. Okay. Let's see justice. Show me justice. Show me justice, please. A sense of balance, spiritually and possibly technically. Show me justice. Show me justice. Show me justice. Show me justice. 
the hanged man. Ah, uh, much perspective. Six of swords, four of pentacles. Someone here did a check. I'm going to go ahead and default back to you because it's singular at this point. Um, so, and it is technically a reading. So I can see where there's an energy exchange over here. So reverse energies as you see fit. Hopefully you know that. Uh, but with justice here, this comes down to one person who really did a job. And I mean a heck of a job trying to talk themselves out of just leaving this behind. Please leave this behind. Please leave this behind. Please leave this behind. There is no justice. There is no balance. Please give this up. Nothing good will come from it. It's futile. Um, please leave this behind. And mm, Why are we holding on to this? Why are we holding on to this? This does not suit. Leave this behind. And then the hanged man, six of swords. It's like whenever somebody tried to legitimately leave this behind, specifically in their spirit, the answer did not suit. So they would come back to it. Okay, so this is a very classic back and forth, um, yo-yo effect, right, up and then down, rubber band, however it is you want to call it. Uh, it's very common. You know, when, especially when we're talking about justice and that sense of balance and why do I still feel like I'm lopsided? How come I still feel like I'm uneven? And that's because we still have stuff to do within ourselves and then possibly take it externally. It's not always a guarantee. Everything begins with the self, particularly balance. So there's that sense with at least one person here. I don't feel balanced. How do I do that? Leave this behind. That's how I do it. I'm still holding on to it, though. And we go back to square one. So somebody went back to square one, and again, I feel like it's you. But again, it's not an accusation or insult, so don't take it as one. I read the cards. Energy exchange is real valid. Okay, but I'm trying not to focus on a them or they. I see a them or they in context a little bit. But I am still reading for the collective today. Uh, but yeah, it's it's one of those things. Perhaps you gave up hope on this and you said, stop looking at it. Just leave it alone. Um, you know, because you experienced it too. Be you on the receiving end or the generator of this. Okay. All right. But yeah, no, going back to square one just did not suit. Okay. It did not suit. Let's see that three of swords. Let's see that three of swords. So it's like, well, if I can't leave this behind, what the hell do I do with it? You know? Three of swords. If trying to leave this behind has not balanced me, what am I supposed to do? All right, let's see that three of swords. Send that three of swords. Judgment. The Ten of Swords and Knight of Wands. Yeah, there's lessons here in pain. And um, knowing that sometimes the pain is worth absorbing. If you're willing to. Second chances. Be on the receiving end of this or the generator of it. it we're talking about second chances here and overcoming pain. Uh, particularly fear of rejection. Of being hurt again. Mm-hmm. Do we still have the energy not to have wants to do it regardless? You know, whether you're giving yourself a second chance on this or them or they, or you're on the receiving end of somebody else's decision about second chances, regardless, it still stands the same. You know, second chances are real. And can we overcome our sense of fear of pain and rejection in order to accommodate that if it helps us get us out of this lopsided state? Because we, we understand what trying to leave this behind did. It just takes us back to square one. So do we re-engage with it? We have a distinct lesson here about fear of rejection um, and overcoming pain and what that might mean in order to generate the activity here. So this is internal process for at least one person. Okay. This is not external. This is the internal process that led up to this moment in time. So it's full moon. Sometimes things come back around full circle. 180. The shadows of the moon. It's all what led up to here and why I strongly believe most of this is predictive. But this is distinctly the internal process that led up to it. Okay, let's get some advice for you. Let's get some advice. Let's get some advice, please.
It's your favorite. There's judgment. <laughs> it's your call, as all things are. Terrorist is proof of choice, not the absence of it. Many of you will choose to bounce this instead of trying to leave it behind because you know it doesn't work. And six of Pentacles, guys, means anything. But first and foremost, a constructive balance that is manageable in the 3D. No expectations. The chariot, however, would show up with the boldness of the heart. If you make a decision to move towards it, either via their call or yours, do so with heart. Balance is within your grasp. That's manageable. No expectations. Okay. And there's judgment again. It's all related. Do you see how it's related? We make the decision to overcome that sense of fear, of pain, and rejection. Okay. There could be the result of it. Whomever had to open up at the vulnerable, excuse me, vulnerable level. It's their call to make, I suppose. But so long as the feeling is real and authentic, it's achievable. But again, if we connect with it, keep it simple first. Okay? And that will help that sense of perceived helplessness come down. Okay? And vulnerability at this point, given what I've seen here, the threat of potential of, of being hurt again or putting ourselves out there, um, that vulnerability is going to run both ways. Okay? Because someone's going to have to say yes to this. It could be you, it could be them. Okay? The thing is, is it worth trying for? You know? Okay. Bring love into the situation, new moon in Aquarius. Step out of your comfort zone, the North Node. Yeah, I, <laughs> I had that feeling, step out of the comfort zone. As I say, that's a, that's a mighty punch of nerve for something that small. Yeah, taking strength too. A strong indication of Leo season for some of you. Perhaps you have very prominent Leo in your chart. Perhaps it's your rising. Um, perhaps it's your moon. I don't know. Something like that. Um, it's time to release negativity. Full moon in Scorpio. Okay. All right. No cinnamon today for those of you who are wondering. She's at uh, daycare today. Oh, it's like her Disneyland. She loves it. All right. <laughs> That's what I said. Didn't I say release expectation? That's what I'm saying. The expectation here represents waiting. Someone expects to wait. Um, I think what I'm looking at here is in terms of expectations, what to expect from the other side. Because here I saw judgment being a paramount decision about perhaps release expectations, as part of your lesson or somebody's lesson about assuming to be hurt or rejected. Perhaps it's a false expectation. And then having cleared that, judgment showed itself differently about the positive side to it. Number 28. Ship on the horizon. A lot has led up to this point. Number three. We've traveled a long way for the main female. Some of you are the main female or you're concerning yourself with the main female. Um, this is the one who bears the rose. Okay. Uh, prominent color that says, you know, beautiful, open. Okay. That kind of thing. Yeah. This is what I was talking about, that sense of imbalance. Okay. Where somebody here is always feeling imbalanced and they go back to square one. There's that sense of being impoverished from the correct thing, judication, balance, okay? Decisions here. So it's like mm, trying to leave this behind hasn't worked. So what's the other one? Okay. Like when I tell people when the main course of action fails 
and it's been failing, do the opposite. Right? But again, Torah represents free will, not the absence of it. All right. And 37, 30, 22, 28, 3, and 2. Okay. There's that Three of Swords, a very strong sense of fear of pain, of being hurt, and then also a very strong fear of rejection. Um, rejection of a second chance, given the previous history. Okay, uh, That's with us as part of our lesson. Okay, Again, if uh, trying to leave this behind doesn't work, then that means facing our fears here. All right? Uh, you see, that's the misgivings right there with the Five of Swords. It was a form of self-sabotage. That sense of fear of rejection is such that for whoever I'm looking at today, it has prohibited them from doing what they need to do. Okay. And it became a form of self-sabotage. In other words, this person had many, many points of entry for communication. And uh, figuring it out, 28 for some of you might be important. Not all of you, some of you. Where it really comes down to, this is where we self-sabotaged, was a really simple form of communication. Okay. Uh, Eight of Wands here in the Two of Pentacles. We overplayed this way too much. I don't, I don't know what to say. I, I don't even know how to construct that. I don't even know how to craft that. What would my words be? How would that even be delivered in the, the real world? Whatever. Okay. The point is that goes back or harkens back to that fear of rejection, and it became a self-sabotaging tendency. Somebody here had multiple points to speak up for themselves or say something or deliver something, and then we're like, no, I'll, I'll just get hurt or screwed up or I won't say that. This was a form of self-sabotage. Uh, keep the words simple, to the point, and honestly felt. Be you, again, the generator, or on the receiving end of this. Okay? That's enough. All right. Did I? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, after a while, it gets out of control. And you're like, which ones did I put down? <laughs> uh. Okay. We have the letter W. We have the gecko, Aries Leo Sag, uh, and then also for some of you might be seeing gecko as confirmation. We have the bee, the busy bee, Bzz, you know, someone takes their work very, very seriously or they keep themselves busy and distracted, of course. We have the butterfly, sign of transformation, change, and also Scorpio. And then we also have the pegasus upright, the masculine sense of pride, freedom, and I can kind of take off and choose my own adventure of my own free will and volition. In other words, I can fly if I want to. Okay. All right. Virgo, honey, I hope this helped you. Put in the comments. Take care. Be well.